what is going on homies it's your boy stumped back for another optc video and in today's video we have some news we have some very big news the producer video number three i think it is the yoshi video dropping on the 24th of 10th has just released and we have information on the new 11.2 update that will be coming to japan as well as two new legends and a new mechanic so a lot of really, really good stuff and honestly uh, this is probably one of the best updates we've had in a very long time. It's really nice to see that they are listening to the community and they are implementing a lot of things that a lot of people have been saying. But if you guys want to check it out, uh, head over to YouTube. I think the Bandai Namco YouTube has this up live. I'm not going to show it, obviously, for copyright stuff. Uh, but if you guys want to go check it out, head over there and uh, you guys can have a look at that one there. So shout out to our boy Yoshi uh, coming in clutch over on the Japanese side of the game. So shout out to Solaris. Shout out, shout out to a lot of the guys that do the translations as well. Um, we are talking about the 7.5 anniversary video countdown well not gonna count down but we're talking about the 7.5 anniversary so the first thing we're going to talk about is alliance chat so with pirate alliance that has come into play um there is going to be a new chat system so this is really good for players that don't have stuff like discord this is going to be really really cool for like get collecting stickers and stuff like that so it's sort of just like a little bit of like a, a fun sort of update nothing like too game breaking to be honest but like it's kind of nice that this is like a thing now and that means you can actually chat with your alliance, which is pretty cool. So, the the thing is, like, you're just going to have, like, text and stickers. Like, it's, it's nothing, like, that's going to change too much. It's just it's just a little bit of a cool sort of thing. Moving on to the next big change is we have this particular part here. Now, with... When you get your characters, you need to get them to, like, max level. You need to get them to, sort of, like, um, certain support. Like, like, you need to be certain pirate levels to unlock stuff like sockets and stuff like... I'm uh, sorry, support levels... And then you need like to like limit break characters for sockets and stuff like that. Well, now, as you can kind of see up here, they have this little lock symbol, which means you can actually put in like tomes and stuff. And you can actually level this up before you get that character to that particular point where you need to unlock it. So this is really cool because it means that you can just start feeding in all those free to play dupes, all of those treasure map characters, all of that sort of stuff to just clear out your box. And that way you can actually just build up the character. You can select your sockets. And a big thing is, if you have a look here, you can max out a character's limit break, potential ability sockets without unlocking their effects, and will not have to be active for you to unlock them. So, it's pretty cool. But the big one is, you can now select which limit break ability you want to power up when using a duplicate character. So, this is huge for the last tap characters. The thing with last tap was, like, you wanted, like, to rainbow the rest of the character... And then use the dupes for last tap because obviously last tap is so valuable when it comes to the tomes but like now it doesn't matter like you feed a dupe and you just select last tap bob's your uncle you're good to go and you're going to start leveling up that limit break so that's a really really cool update amazing amazing update um very 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 nice to be honest moving on to the next part is you can now feed more than 10 copies of a single item rather than 10 at a time so all of those like lobsters and stuff that you guys have been collecting you know like 9999 you can actually use them now because you don't have to sit there and just like tap like 10 and then feed and then tap and then feed so this is really, really cool so you can just feed a whole bunch of character um a whole bunch of um like turtles and stuff in and i imagine it's going to work the same way as tomes so that way you can just like max out your tomes a lot quicker and it's going to be really really nice talking about speeding things up is you can actually skip the um animations when leveling a unit up and that includes special levels, that includes support levels, that includes um, the tome. Like, well, I'm sure the tome screen will come up because you've got to select your tomes. But it's going to make things a lot quicker. Another thing that they've added as well is, once you've leveled a character up, it'll say, would you like to evolve this character straight away? So you can just go straight from the level up to the evolve, which is going to be really, really cool. It's going to make, like, building your account a lot quicker. And it's going to make all of this, like, nitty-gritty stuff a lot smoother. So that's going to be really, really nice as well. As you can see here, this is the sort of, uh, pictures for this so i'll jump into my japan account at the end of this video and you like we'll have a look at the in-game info but um this is really cool because we do have all the translations up here so once again shout out to the boys like solaris shout out to good dot and all those guys, types of guys as well um there will be new menus that will show up when evolving um so like i said you when you max them you can just like select evolve that unit as well another big thing is we finally have ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine crystals i don't know who the hell has that many crystals uh but it's nice that we've broken the limit cap like the limit cap was always a bit of an issue especially in the early stages of limit break before like the uh limit break expansion and i was actually one of those people that had like a bunch of males just sitting there that i couldn't collect because i had so many limit break materials and now 
we finally have 99,999, which is really, really cool. So that way we can just go past that and we can just stockpile limit break materials, which is going to be really, really nice. And that way you don't have to like limit break expand characters to get rid of them so you can make room for more. Um, next part. This one here is probably my favorite. I haven't decided which part of this I have thought, like, like, what's my favorite in terms of the updates. Make sure at the end of the video to let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought is the favorite of this particular update. Uh, while you're down there, smash that like button as well. And if you're new, hit that big red subscribe button as well. But this one for me is a big one. Dual units, you can select who you want to be at the start of the fight. Massive. Absolutely massive. This is so good for stuff like Kazuna. Um, this is going to be so good for like... Uh, super switch characters it's just massive like absolutely massive in terms of for kazuna like particular characters and now treasure map actually as well uh, on the japanese side of the game with starting you can say for example strength characters get their cooldowns but like quick doesn't and like free spirit and fighters don't you can choose ace and that way you're going to get your cooldowns and then you can switch and then use the abilities of luffy so that's really really nice it's really really cool um and like, this Kazuna, actually, I actually had an issue with Viola and Rebecca on the global side. And I wanted to be the Viola when I started, but that took that way at my cooldowns. But I couldn't because it was Rebecca. So this is going to be really, really nice. For stuff like Page 1 Ulti, Ace Sabo, their super switches where you need to switch into a particular color variation for more damage on Kazuna. This is going to be really, really nice as well. So, massive update. Very minor fix, but just an absolute, absolute belter. So, well done, Bandai. Moving on to the next part here, and a lot of grinders are going to be really happy about this. They've added a hundred Kazuna tickets button. This one, a lot of people were like, a lot of people were shouting for this one, and it's really cool to see that they've actually done this. A hundred tickets, very, very nice, very good update. Going to save a lot of time when uh, when opening those boxes when you have like nine, what was it, ninety nine thousand tickets or whatever it was. Moving on to the next update, we have a forty eight hour sale. This is massive for like pay to play players absolutely massive so if you're level 50 80 100 120 or 150 you unlock these packs and there's basically like a dollar pack two dollar a four dollar pack whatever eight dollar pack this one here is about 27 us dollars i'm pretty sure for the big one so if you add all of these up you get like 300 and yeah 360 gems for like 60 usd pretty nice pretty nice so as you can see one us dollar 15 gems uh four us dollars you get 20 gems eight um 850 you get 45 so it's just absolutely monstrous what you can actually get um you just have to hit these pirate levels 50 80 100 120 150 so that's really cool um a lot of good gems like a really really good gem sale pack it is only for 48 hours so make sure that you guys um pick these up because they are a one-time purchase and they're probably some of the best value we've seen in the entire game so definitely pick those up besides the login pack as well um so thanks to at 24 for the translation as well as well as that, we are getting a bit of a villain month. So, as you can see here, we've got a whole bunch of characters that fought uh, Luffy. Uh, we've sort of already got this Luchi. And if you have a look at the front here, these are the two characters that we are going to talk about. So, 7.5 is traditionally a villain update. We did have Big Mom vs. Kaido last, uh, last year. And this time, we actually have a new Doflamingo and we have a new Katakuri. We will talk about those characters at the end of the video. They are fairly good. I don't know if I'm 100% sold on them, but we're going to talk about them at the end of the video anyway. But, with the new characters comes a new mechanic. Super class is finally a thing. So, very similar to super type. Um, super class is built around activating a super type for a particular class. So, Katakuri is a powerhouse super class. Where, Dofi is a driven super class. And, obviously, very similar to what super typings were. You had to sort of unlock their super typing or their super class by doing different things. So, Katakuri, you need like the big mom pirates and stuff. Where Dofi, you need the um, the Don Quinox Pirates, but they also have different mechanics as well. So Katakuri is like if you use a special four times. Dofi is if you uh, if an enemy triggers a support. Uh, but like I said, we'll talk about that at the end. But very very cool. Uh, hopefully with this update, they will actually re-release stuff like the Garbs Challenge, the class Garbs Challenges. That is going to be really really nice. Uh, but if they don't, for me it's kind of like why though? Like why now? Like there's got to be some sort of content that comes along with this. Otherwise for me it's a bit of a a bit of a head scratcher you know but nevertheless it is what it is so super class is finally a thing um it in my opinion it's better than super type but obviously super type is going to be better in, a, in a, like another way but if you can like hybrid the two of them up have super class and super type and then run like a mono colored team with a mono class team like you're going to be able to do some crazy crazy things um there's going to be some free multiples on um these parts here the, the halloween parts i think 
Um, or there's just going to be free multis on the new batch. It looks like there's going to be a new Caesar and a new Hody unit as well. So that's kind of cool. Um, we'll have to wait and see what those characters look like. Because I think we've only got information for the Legends. Um, yeah, once again, shout out to um, Aha for all the translations here. If you guys want to go check out the video, there's the Twitter on over on the uh, One Piece Treasure Cruise Discord. Make sure to go check that out if you guys want. Uh, there is a maintenance as well for you Japan players, so be mindful of that as well. And um, yeah, let's take a look at the in-game information now. Alright, so 11.2 update is in the game news. And as we've already discussed, we've really already discussed everything. So we're just going to sort of breeze, breeze through it. As you can see here, this is the new Katakuri and the super class mechanic. Uh, looks pretty nice, as you can see here. Like, we do have the big one pirates there. It is a blue mechanic rather than the red mechanic for super typing. And as you can see here, it's for powerhouse characters when it comes to Katakuri. Uh, we're going to move down here. This is sort of just showing off the super typing or the super class, I should say. This has got to do with the um, leveling up the tomes, the tablets, um, the supports without have, actually having the character leveled and whatnot. Uh, and with this one here, you can actually select what limit break you guys actually want to put in, which is really nice. The auto scroll, you can put in a whole bunch of characters, like, like um, what's called turtles and stuff like that to level up, which is really, really nice. And it's going to work really, really nicely. Um, you have the alliance chat feature here. This is the information on the alliance chat there. The dual units that you can select at the beginning looks really, really cool. All these, like, artworks look really, really nice. Uh, increasing the 100 tap for Kazuna, as well as the 99, 999, um, what's it called, 99,999. So, that's the in-game information. There are two new legends that do come along with this particular celebration. So, let's take a quick look at them. Alright, so huge shout out to Aha, Aha and Godot for the translations from the new units. As I mentioned, we do have a new Katakuri. He's a powerhouse captain, obviously being a powerhouse superclass, five times. He boosts the attack of all other characters by 3.75, so he's still a rainbow captain as well, which is quite nice. 3.75 is pretty low though, but look, you can still do it. HP 1.3 increases the chance of landing on matching orbs for powerhouse characters and recovers 50% of the damage taken from the previous stage. So this is exactly the same as V2 Katakuri. And this particular character for me is kind of like, well, why is this not a 6+. plus? And it's kind of like, well, have you taken away the artwork for a verse character for Katakuri and Luffy? Or is that still going to be a thing? So, I guess we'll have to wait and see. The special cuts all the HP of, of all enemies by 10%. Adds 1,000 base stat attack for powerhouse characters. Boosts orbs of powerhouse by a variable amount depending on the damage taken. So, up to 25,000 is a 2.25. 49,000 is 2.5. And anything above 50,000 is going to be a 2.75. So, that's pretty monstrous. If there's already an orb boost active... Boost the attack of powerhouse characters by 2.5 for one turn. So, he can be your attack booster. He can be your orb booster. Uh, he's going to work great with characters like Luchi. He's going to work great with characters like Versa Kainu. And um, he's going to work great with char for characters like... Um... Oh, what's the other one? No, Luchi was the latest powerhouse character we had. Um, Page 1 ulti. For characters like Page 1 and ulti as well. So... This particular special is very, very strong, but it just doesn't seem anything game-breaking to me. It just seems, it seems like a lot more damage, I guess. This plus 1,000 base stat boost, I've been rambling on about this for a little while now. It's already been amazing, but now that super class is a thing, this has just got better. We don't know exactly what the super class does, but it is a base stat boost rather than an affinity boost compared to a, like a super type, which is cool. The super type or the super class condition... If any special is activated four times in the adventure, or if there is a Charlotte family member, Monkey D. Luffy on the crew, you are going... So this is the list here. Monkey D. Luffy, Lin Lin, Barbaros, Opera, Foreign Play, like all those characters. That's the condition. If you have that, you're going to extend the orb boost by one turn, changes all orbs into block, including block into matching, and changes powerhouse characters into super powerhouse. So this is really nice, this last part here, just get it, guaranteeing you the, the matching orbs. It's very similar to Roger without the locking effect, which is pretty cool. But extending the orb boost here isn't exactly that viable unless you're using it on something like Versa Kainu or if you're using like two Katakuri super typing, so or super classings. Um, so that is like gonna be a little bit of an issue there, but mainly like this part here is the best part about the guy's actual super type. Uh, the support once during the adventure when the supporter character activates a special, the changes slots, boost the attack of powerhouse characters by 1.75. So he's got like two options of getting an attack boost. This is really, really good for support. Like, really, really... Uh, sorry, not two, two uh, options. This is a support. Um, so, if you, you change slots at all, you're going to get a powerhouse attack boost. So this is going to be really, really good on something like um, Big Mom, the verse Big Mom. It's going to be really, really good on something like Cracker. Cracker, 6 plus, sort of just got like a massive buff with something like this. Um, and you can also use it on something like... Um, I think Daifuku rotates... 
yeah, he rotates an orb into a recovery slot, so he's another option to get another nice chunky attack boost for. So that's really, really cool. Sailor gives one point, uh, 125 base stats attack to, sorry, powerhouse. And then, this is really cool. If your captain is a powerhouse class, boost the attack of powerhouse characters by a further 1.1 times. So that multiplies into itself. Really, really strong. Really, really strong. It's going to make all your sailors and all your characters do a lot more damage. His pirate rumble is actually pretty busted as well. So we don't know what colors and classes these units are. From the in-game information, we kind of think that Katakuri might be strength, but it's up in the air of kind of what it is. We know he's powerhouse. Uh, maybe powerhouse fighter, maybe powerhouse driven. We're not 100% sure yet. His um, special deals 3,000 fixed damage to a sideways large range. Inflicts level 7 down for 20 seconds and 80% chance to paralyze all enemies for 20 seconds. And then he deals 1.5 times attack to two Cerebral characters. So, hitting Cerebral's hard. Uh, Cerebral's don't have too much representation in Rumble unless you're running that Cerebral team. But there's stuff like Shank's crew, there's stuff like the Neko, uh, Rayleigh, all those types of characters that can sort of get hit hard. His Pirate uh, Rumble ability, Powerhouse HP up level 5, attack up level 6. And then he's immune to Special Bind and reduces damage into, uh, by Cerebral characters by 30%. So, like moving more into this class meta with these characters... And don't get me wrong, this character is really, really good. But for me, he's just a little bit slow. He's very similar to that, like, last category where you have to take damage V2. But you could probably cheese it in ways like uh, you used to do with, like, the dual unit Big Mom and stuff like that. So there's also that. He doesn't throw back damage like the previous one did. But this orb boost and attack boost situation in my eyes is a lot better. So a pretty solid character. Uh, we'll have to wait and see how he goes and how the, um, the super class mechanic goes once we get more information. But for now, pretty solid. Uh, there's the special animation. If you guys want to see all this, make sure to head over to the OPTC Discord. Um, that way you guys can like get access to all this. So let's move on to the Doflamingo now. So the Doflamingo, in my opinion, is a little bit nicer. Let me know who you guys think is better in the comment section below. But for me, I'm a bigger fan of the artwork of Dofi. I'm a bigger fan of his kit on paper. But like I said, we'll have to see what the characters do once we get in game. Dofi boosts the attack of driven characters by 5 times. Boosts the attack of all other characters by 3.75. HP by 1.3 and makes dex and quick orbs beneficial for driven characters, and then reduces special bind by 10 turns. For me, that's just infinitely better. Getting matching orbs is great. 10 turns of special bind removals is always nice. Driven, you can hybrid him up with, like, Yamato, 6-star, and then you can get bind removal as well. You can do some wild things with this Dofi. Like, you can do some real wild things. Obviously, he's not as tanky as the Katakuri is, because, like, you're not recovering HP. But, like, who cares? You're outputting, like, so much damage with a 5 times captain. You have utility here. And you have matching orbs as well. So, it's going to be really, really nice. I feel like the Dofi's probably going to be, like, quick or dex. One of those colors. I hope he's quick, to be honest. I really hope he's quick. Uh, now I'm thinking about it. Like, I kind of hope he's dex. You know what? Now I'm really thinking about it. I really don't care. He, he's cool. I really like this Dofi. I really, really like this Dofi. And he's the one that I will be aiming for when I do my summons. His special deals 300 times typeless damage to all enemies, changes all orbs, including block into matching. And if there is an attack boost or and orb boost already active, when the special is launched, he adds 1,000 base attack to driven characters. So they are both driven base cap, cap uh, base stat boosters, but he also increases the chain boost by 1.4. Absolutely monstrous. Absolutely monstrous. 1,000 base attack and a 1.4, but you do need an orb boost and you do need an attack boost alive. But, if you don't have that, guess what? He boosts the attack and orb of driven characters by 2.25. And he recovers 30% HP. So there's your tankiness. So if you have two Dofis, right? Captors. You pop one, you get the attack and you get the orb. Then you pop the other one, you get the chain boost and you get the base stat. And then you use the, the super classes and just everything just becomes like a big blur of damage. Sure, it's only 2.25, but literally with your captains, you have all your damage output. These guys like kid on like steroids. In my eyes, anyway. Crazy. And then you can use kid on his team? Like, bro. I really like this Dofi. As you can tell, like, I really like this Dofi. He's super typing or super classing. Deals 150 times his attack as non-type damage to all enemies. Reduces the cooldown of driven characters by one turn. And changes driven characters into super attack. So this is basically Moria's super typing. Just for driven characters. Not just driven powerhouse, like just driven. Driven so good. Why is driven so good? This Dofi's gonna be amazing in treasure map. Like you can just like pop his super typing, pop his super typing to get cooldowns, and then pop his special, pop his special to like kill stuff. You can use kid on the team as well. Like it's just it's insane what this Dofi can do. It's actually insane. But his super type condition is when a supported character 
is triggered by an enemy, so the same as Hawkins. Or if you have Luffy, Law, Diamante, Piku, Treble, Virgo, Sugar, Kaido, Caesar. Kaido? I didn't know Kaido was there. Wow. Very, there's a lot of driven Kaidos. A lot of driven Kaidos. And Sugar, obviously Legend Sugar is just going to be really good here. Mainly because Dofi's also a 1.4 uh, chain boost as well. So like Sugar is just going to be really, really good on this team. This Dofi's nuts. I, I love this Dofi, man. Like I really, really, really like this Dofi. Some really, really cool stuff. So, gives cooldowns. Has utility for special bind removal. Basically has fear. You know, like, don't need fear on the team anymore with this Dofi, right? Because you get special bind removal and you get special boot reverse. Like, you, you got, you're good. You get fear, you don't have to worry about it. Super, super nice. He has all the damage in the world. He's going to be really, really good moving forward. But, like I said, we'll have to wait and see how he, how he performs when he comes out. His sailor abilities, 125 at, attack to driven characters. And when another driven class character uses their special reduces his own cooldown by one turn that's so good that's so good he's gonna be good as a captain he's gonna be good as a sailor this dofi in my opinion is going to like age very very nicely but you know the drill we have to wait and see his support goes on any driven character and he adds zero uh, 0 0.5 as a boost chain to uh at, at the end of the fight like that's just awesome like really really good like just really really good especially for like sugar and stuff like yamato uh, you know when he's in Yamato now that I'm thinking about it. Never mind. But still, like, what do you mean? He's got really good um, Pirate Festival as well, Pirate Rumble. He does level 7 attack down to enemies in a large range as he's special for 20 seconds. 2.5 is attack in a large range. And when the HP is 50% or more, deals 2 times attack that ignores defense to one enemy with the highest remaining HP. Absolutely insane. Re ignoring defense is massive. Like, absolutely huge. Um, and it's just going to do a whole bunch of damage. A whole bunch of damage. And then lowering attack is really, really nice too. He has driven attack up level 5, speed up level 4, and powerhouse enemies H down, HP down level 3. This is so good. So good. HP down is just massive. Like, you're just instantly dropping their HP by level 3 at the start. And powerhouse is running Riot in um, Rumble because there's just so many good powerhouse characters. He's immune to blind, which is damaged by powerhouse by 30%. So I feel like this Dofi is going to be like driven cerebral where the category is kind of like powerhouse something. But that's all the information we have now. Credits to Blazing as well for the translation help. Once again, shout out to Godot and Aha over on the uh, OPTC Discord for the information provided. But if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to go down there and belt the like button for me if you're new to the channel. Hit that big red subscribe button too. But guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, I thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace!